guys what's happening. So, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I think I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos, but, um, you know, I, I definitely started thinking about it a lot more when I was running the uh, Solaritas printer at uh, 35K, 600 millimeter, um, and I was skipping steps, and I was actually increasing the uh, driver vol or current to uh, compensate for that. Um, but I've been thinking it for a while, you know, um, what would happen if I added some large capacitors to the stock drivers? Um, would I be able to actually compensate for those really quick accelerations to pick up the slack? Um, you know, it's having to, having to keep on increasing the current, add some larger capacitors to help with voltage droop or just be able to compensate for those hard accelerations. Um, and one of the reasons why I was thinking about this is that I'll show you one of these drivers here. I'm actually running this on the Orsinus or Orca printer. These uh, 5160 pluses from uh, Big Tree Tech. But notice these really large capacitors. I'm sure this is definitely helping on the quick accelerations because my, my Orsinus printer doesn't even skip a step, you know, at 35K, 600 millimeters. Like I'm hardly even phasing that printer. Um, so what I wanted to do was add some capacitors to these stock drivers, and I'll, and I'll show you the, the wiring diagram and what I actually bought and what I'm going to try. So this will just be part one of me trying to figure this out. And uh, but these these drivers are incredible, um, and I'll go through like the diagrams here real fast. So let me show you the uh, diagram of this uh, thing here real fast. Um, well, one of the reasons I think this, well, I know for a fact is that the 5160 uh, Plus is so awesome is that, I mean, you can actually handle, like, you know, on average 10.6 amp of current. And the reason why is because your main current supply is not going through the integrated circuit, the, the driver IC. It's actually being triggered by the IC, um, and it's controlling the gates of these MOSFET, MOSFETs right here. So all your main current power, high voltage, is going through the actual, uh, these MOSFETs here. So that's why you can actually also run a super high voltage. Like I think these things can go up to like 60 volts. Or you actually, they said they can go max 100 volt, but 60 volt recommended, 10.61 amp, uh, 15 amp peak. Um, but yeah, the main supply voltage and current is going through these MOSFETs and not the IC. Um, so I'm looking at the diagrams, and I'm trying to figure out the best place to put these capacitors, the test capacitors. Um, so obviously I'm going to be running stock drivers, and uh, I'll show you another diagram of that, and where I think the best place to put them is. Um, I'm not actually, I'm not an electrical engineer, I work in IT. So, <laughs> so if you guys, uh, if you think this is a really stupid idea, let me, leave it in the comments below, um, why you think this is a dumb idea. But, um, alright, so here in, in this diagram here, this is actually where those two uh, capacitors, the two large capacitors you see, you see are right here. So they're providing, the, the, look, to me it looks like it's the source voltage coming in, into, into the device. Um, all right, so let me show you the, all right, so here is the uh, diagram of like a typical, like this is an SKR, I think two board, um, you know, under the driver section here. So SKR2 board, so I'm basically looking at the driver section, and I wanted to see, you know, typically under the driver, under the, like the connection where you, you would put the driver, there's actually typically a little, little capacitor there. And I actually went out and verified that I'm actually in the right spot, but it's a 100 microfarad uh, capacitor, 35 volt. And uh, so it looks like it's connected to the main supply voltage here. So it's right here and here. So let me show you a, another picture here of a driver here. This this is actually the TMC2240, which I'm going to connect him to. Now, I really like the TMC2240. It's it's, it's better, definitely better than the 2209. But what I like about it is it has internal uh, temperature sensor. Thermistor has like a, you can actually see in Clipper what the driver's running at. And I'm actually having cooling issues on a couple of them, so I had to modify my cooling duct. Because I can see that. You couldn't see that with a 2209 or a 5160. So it's huge to be able to see what the individual driver is doing temperature-wise. Um, 
So my thought was I would actually add a capacitor here and here. Um, I mean, I'm not a total electronics rookie. I mean, I've been messing with electronics my whole life, and I took a couple of years of electronics when I was a teenager. Um, yeah, because I kind of went, I, I had to make, I kind of was more into computers, so I, I originally I thought I was going to be an electrical engineer. I was going to study to be an electrical engineer, but then I kind of changed directions and went the computer science route. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm not a total, I mean, I took a couple of years of electronics. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to put them right there. One ground strap and one plus. All right, so here is here are the capacitors I bought on Amazon. Looks like they sold out here, but um, so I got a thousand microfarad, fifty volt. So these drivers can do thirty six volt. Um, I'm probably gonna be running them at twenty four, uh, but in case I ever want to, I'd be running them higher. Uh, you know, I, I wanted some leeway here, so on the voltage. Um, so I mean, I guess one hundred plus a thousand is eleven hundred. So you know, with the existing um, you know, capacitor that actually came comes on the board here. So, yeah, that would be funny if they actually really were Nichicon. Um, I think it was like five five bucks or something like that. But um, all right, so these will be here. It looks like tomorrow. Um, I'll solder them on the board. I'm actually redesigning my air fan duct on the Sol Solaritas. So uh, because like those internal temp sensors, I could see that I'm not getting good cooling on at least a couple of them. So. Um, so the goal here was, um, I would like to be able to run these at a, sort of a lower current, you know, like right now, uh, the 5160 pro externals on the Orsinus printer, I'm actually running 2.2 .2 amp of current, uh, but I only have two driver motors. Whereas on the Solaritas, I have four motors and four drivers, but I'm running at 1.5 amp. So I don't want to run them so hot where, I mean, I have to, like, you know, be worried about plastic melting on where it mounts the driver, or, I mean, the stepper. So if I could run these at 1.5 amp but be able to pick up the slack under heavy accelerations and, and movements, uh, I mean, that would be cool. So I know this is just an experiment. I don't even know if it's going to work. I mean, I don't even know if it's stupid or not, so... If it's super stupid, let me know in the comments below. I don't know. Um, I, I, I've been thinking about this for a while. So, just because it gave me the idea was that when I saw the 5160s with those huge caps, I was like, okay, well, there's a reason why they put those there. So, all right. So, as soon as I come in, I will solder them on the drivers and uh, keep everything exactly the same. And we'll see if I, I'm able to not skip steps on the 35K acceleration at uh, 1.5 amp and uh, 6 millimeters per second. All right, cool. <laughs>